Thank you for joining me today. This is Ana Arenas and she is a student who is enrolled in LinkedIn Unleashed. She's been enrolled for around a month now and she mainly provides a real estate niche but also has a few restaurant clients. And in terms of services, she offers them paid ads, SEO, online marketing, stuff like that. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, how, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Um, in terms of, I guess, the best question to start with, what was your life like before you joined the program? So what was your situation with the agency? Well, you know, I had a local client from Mexico, where I'm from, but I started learning online marketing and all of the stuff on the digital world. And I tried to sell it on Mexico, but people either couldn't afford it or didn't like see the value of what I was doing. So most of my services were underpaid. So that's when I realized that I should uh, get international clients. So I started doing cold email and cold calling, but honestly, that doesn't work. You know, you're a stranger and you <laughs> call someone trying to sell something. They are busy. They don't know you. So they just hang up or, or they just like don't want to talk to you. So I tried for uh, some months and, and I didn't have any success. And and then I was just like, OK, so I'm going to have just clients in Mexico because it's really hard to get clients somewhere else. And I ran into your YouTube video, some of your YouTube videos, and I feel felt like, I don't know, identified with you because were like similar on age you were like a girl like me and you were having very a lot of success and I wanted to know like how did you did it um, so I started looking to all of your YouTube videos and then I saw your course and I first I honestly I didn't want to buy your course because I have taken other courses before and they didn't tell you like the real uh, secret you know they tell you like an overview and I like a look on the outside and they are too expensive and the owner of the course doesn't care about their students and they have a Facebook group but they never answer so so I I thought it would be the same thing you know with you because I didn't know you so I say okay I'm gonna buy Natasha's course but it's the last course I'm going to <laughs> yeah and I'm not sure if it's going to work and honestly, it has worked super good. I booked six calls this week. That's awesome. That's so cool. Yeah, it's super cool. The, the coolest part is that you help us all in the group and you answer all of our questions. It's not like someone who is just starting is answering another person who is just starting their questions and they're both lost, but they help each other. No, you help us. And that's super good. And I think your course is like down to earth and realistic. You know, you don't promise anything that is not going to happen. So yeah, I booked it like a month ago, but I already had eight calls so far this month. Uh, so two persons are telling me they are going to want my services this weekend. So I'm just waiting for the results. I already send them like an audit and everything. But yeah, it has worked tremendous. That's so good to hear. I'm very, very happy about it. Um, yeah. In terms of when you joined, obviously you've said you've bought a few programs before and they've not worked for you. And, and an element of that is either the person that's teaching you doesn't explain it very well, or some people don't feel like they have enough support or they don't know how to actually put a strategy in place to take on the content within the course on board and actually apply it in their own real life situation. So when you first enrolled in LinkedIn Unleashed, how did you absorb all the content and set out your day to actually implement that LinkedIn lead generation process? Well, you, you gave us a planner that I have never seen before. None of the other courses give you a planner. All of those courses gave you like a resume of the course in general, but not like a, a work template. So in order to uh, to a course to work, you need to, you know, learn it and practice it. You know, you need to have both things. So with your planner, 
I started like organizing my day and measuring my success because if you want to improve, you have to measure like everything you're doing. If you if you don't measure how you are right now, you don't know what to improve. So I was measuring myself on your planner and I was organizing myself and I put like some goals to myself and that worked really well. Uh, so obviously I had some questions, but I think everyone does, it's, it's normal. When you start doing it, you have questions, but but you put it on, I put them on the Facebook group and you answer them. So that was super helpful. Cool, um, in terms of other people within the program or people that are just starting out on LinkedIn, what advice would you give them as, I'm guessing you were, were you a beginner to LinkedIn before you joined the program or did you already have previous knowledge? No, well, I already had an account, but I didn't use it. Um, in Mexico, no one uses LinkedIn. So, you know, you open an account when you were in school. You know, yeah. first. But we never really did it. I didn't know about Sales Navigator and everything. So um, about the people that, I, that are starting out, I just want to tell them that keep going and don't give up even if it's hard sometimes to keep asking you and ask the group about their questions and everyone's helping each other and to practice and to try, you know, cause maybe they're not trying hard enough. That's why they're not getting results. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Good piece of advice. Um, <laughs> I was also gonna ask, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, would you say that how long do you think it took you from being a beginner? Cause I get a lot of people asking me, is this program for beginners or do I have to be an expert? Does it give you enough support from sort of the foundational level to, to actually growing your agency and getting clients on board? From being a beginner yourself before you got the program, how long would you say it took you to understand, implement and start seeing a return on investment from what you've paid to the program in terms of getting clients on calls and being able to bring them to your agency basically? Well, I think it's for every stage, you know, for beginners and for experts, because everyone needs like something else to add on. Um, for me, it was like a couple of weeks when I started like seeing results. The first weeks I wasn't, I was last, like trying everything out. I was setting up. I was trying to see like my messaging funnel and what should work for me. And it's just like trying, but after 15 days, I started seeing like results and I started like seeing which kind of funnels were working better and I started picking a calls. But I think it's different for, different for everybody. It depends like the time you invest on it and it depends like how hard are you trying, you know? And mm -hmm. um, what would you say in your opinion, because I think everybody has different opinions on this, but in terms of what you think the most important aspect of whether you're going to succeed or fail when it comes to generating leads on LinkedIn, what would you say is the most important part from your perspective? Well, I think the most important part is being like confident and knowing that there are thousands of people doing it that is not like cold calling, that is just like try 200 and maybe you'll get one. No. With LinkedIn is like a secure process, you know, it's for that LinkedIn, it's, you know, a network to meet other people. So, so no, I, I say it's super, um, super good and it will work for everyone. Cool. Um, obviously what you just said reminded me as well in terms of it being a network for meeting a lot of people. Obviously you're based in Mexico and you said at the start of the call that the problem with having clients just in Mexico, a lot of the time they couldn't afford your services. Have you been reaching out and connecting with people internationally now? Um, Cause I get a lot of people asking like their economy or the country or the city that they live in isn't lucrative for their agency and they wanna reach out and they wonder whether they're gonna have issues with language barrier or accent or explaining themselves and whether that's gonna make it hard for them to gain clients in different countries. What's your experience been with that? 
well, of course, it's something, you know, the language. For me, well, I speak good English, but I have like a Spanish accent, so of course. But, well, I really don't care about that. Um, I honestly don't connect right now with Mexican people. I just connect with people from the U.S. and from uh, London and Australia. Because I know that I'm going to waste my time, or not waste my time, but they are not going to, they can afford me, so why losing my time? So, no, I connect with people from U.S., from other countries. I always tell them where I'm from, but I prove them that I'm capable of and that I have the experience, and that's what sells me. You know, what I can do, not where I'm from. You know, people at the end of the day don't care where you're from, as long as you are good at it. So. Awesome. Thank you so much. I think we'll leave it on that note because I think that's probably the most important message that you should spread to people in terms of confidence. And I think LinkedIn is a really good way to set yourself up as a professional. Everybody's equal and it doesn't matter the origin. You all have the same chance to get that yeah. client. I think LinkedIn gives you that. So that's awesome. Um, so thank you so much for joining me on the interview and we'll speak soon. Thank you, Natasha. Bye. Bye.